napakahalaga po na alam natin kung ano bang intention natin, ano bang motive natin. Bakit tayo sumusunod sa Panginoon? Is it something because gusto lang natin yung blessing? O dahil gusto lang natin na matupad ko anong mong pinapanalangin or anong mong gusto lang natin sa sarili natin o kaya tayo sumusunod sa Panginoon kasi mas gusto po natin siya makilala para mas mapuri pa natin siya para mas ma-share pa natin siya sa iba at para mas maintindihan natin kung sino ba yung Panginoon na minamahal natin so that's the character of Zacchaeus he has this eagerness di ba? nakita natin nagmamadali siyang tumakbo at umakyat dun sa puno. So, it's the same thing with us. Tayo po, hindi po humihinto yung um, pagsisik natin sa Lord. Paano tayo magsisik sa Lord? Ang pagsik po natin sa Panginoon, nagbabasa po tayo ng word niya, binabasa natin yung mensahe niya, nananalangin po tayo, nakikipag-fellowship po tayo. Kasi, you know, in fellowship, the more we listen to the lives of others on how God moves into their lives, the more we get to know God as well. Kasi nakikita natin kung paano nag-move yung Panginoon sa iba't ibang buhay ng tao na may iba't ibang sitwasyon. So, fellowship is important. Worship is important. Um, reading the word is important. And prayer is important. All these things, these are essentials for us to get to know God, for us to seek the Lord every single day of our lives. So, that's the life of Zacchaeus. Mayroon siyang puso ng pagsisik. Ano pa po yun meron sa character ni Zacchaeus? Wala siyang self-pity. He has this, um, meron siyang confidence to come to the Lord. Dahil hindi niya pinipiti yung sarili niya, meron siyang pananampalataya na tinawag siya ng Panginoon and what he has to do is to obey the Lord and to have faith na regardless of who he is, regardless of his past, regardless of what he's done, the Lord will still accept him. And tayo po minsan, kapag nagkakamali tayo, kapag may nagagawa tayo, hindi tama sa harap ng Panginoon, meron tayong, nagkakaroon tayo ng self-pity. We tend to um, think na, ay, hindi na ako tatanggapin ng Lord. Ito yung ginawa ko. Ay, hindi ako karapat dapat. Hindi ako, hindi na ako papakinggan ng Panginoon. Ay, sino ba ako? Ito, ito lang ako. Bakit, bakit, ko pa mapasukin sa Lord sa buhay ko, eh, hindi siya karapat dapat kasi parang ito na yung buhay ko eh, Mas, napakasama ako. So, if we have self-pity, how then can God um, rule over our lives? Kasi the Lord has given us the choice whether we accept Him or not, whether we allow Him or not, whether we follow Him or not. So, um, mayroon pong choice sa atin. And yung choice na yan, ang driving force niyan is how we view ourselves. Do we view ourselves na naawa tayo sa sarili natin? Or we view ourselves in uh, having this foundation na ang Panginoon po ay tinawag tayo, pinili tayo regardless kung gano'n man tayo makasalanan. Because the Lord, the Lord already died for us. And um, hindi na natin kailangan balikan kung anong nakaraan natin para para lang saktan natin yung sarili natin. Hindi natin kailangan balikan yung mga yun kasi masasaktan at masasaktan lang tayo at may hinder lang tayo lumapit sa Lord. But we can see in the life of Zacchaeus, he did not let those negative things about himself and he also did not let the voices of the others, di ba makikita po natin yung mga tao na sinisiraan siya or hindi naman sinisiraan, may mga sinasabing masama about sa kanya or kinakwestiyon yung pagpunta ni Jesus Christ sa kanya. So, um, if Zacchaeus, eh, kung meron siyang self-pity, pwede niya nang sabihin na, Lord, hindi, huwag ka na pumasok sa bahay ko. Kasi sabi nila, makasalanan ako eh. 
Kasi ito yung nagawa ko noon. Ito ako, ito ako eh. Huwag ka nang pumasok na eh. Parang nakakahiya. Diba? Pwede, pwede ganun kapag meron siyang self-pity. Pero he does not have that. That's something we should learn from the chaos. Dapat wala tayong self-pity. Instead, we replace that with faith. We replace that with confidence in the Lord. Not our own confidence. But confidence natin sa Panginoon dahil kilala natin yung Panginoon. So, that's the heart of the chaos. And, and lastly, yung character po ni Zacchaeus is he is willing to surrender. To surrender everything sa Panginoon. Diba? When he said, Lord, half of my possessions, I give it to the poor. Pero you can see his heart, his heart that's willing to surrender. Pwede niya na maikip na lang possessions niya. Bakit niya pa ibibigay sa poor? But because he has this heart to serve others as well, and he has this heart to to sacrifice and to surrender all these things sa Panginoon because He knows that that's what God wants. Diba? Sa buhay din po natin, ganun. Marami din po tayong um, hindi mabitaw-bitawan. But God is just waiting for us to surrender it to Him. God is just waiting for us na isurrender yung mga problema natin sa Kanya, yung mga struggles natin sa Kanya. Or if not problems, God is just waiting for us to use what we have to bless other people, to make use of what we have, to bless them, to share the gospel, to share the love of God. So yun po ang character ni Zacchaeus. And those are the things that we are to apply in our lives. First, we are to seek the Lord wholeheartedly. We are to seek God na excited po tayo. Genuinely po natin siyang sinisik every single day. Next po, it is important for us na hindi magkaroon ng self-pity but rather magkaroon po tayo ng confidence lumapit sa Panginoon and mayroon po tayong faith. Faith na alam natin ang Panginoon, tutulungan niya tayo ang Panginoon. Hindi tinitignan ko anong pas natin, hindi kinitignan ang karamihan natin as long as we know that we are to live rightly before God and if we commit sins, we are to ask forgiveness and we are to repent. So, yun yung mga kailangan nating tandaan. And lastly, importante po na tayo ay marunong mag-surrender. No, minsan kasi ang hirap mag-surrender, but we are to surrender all these things to God. And ano pong sinabi ng Panginoon? The Lord was very much pleased. We can see it in the character of God that He is not condemning. Hindi niya kinondem si Zacchaeus. Hindi niya kinondem kung sino si Zacchaeus. Hindi niya kinwestyon. Hindi niya ginudge. Hindi niya siniraan. Hindi niya minaliit si Zacchaeus. But rather, he blessed Zacchaeus. He saved Zacchaeus. Sabi niya, today salvation has come to this house because this man is also a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and to save the lost. So, hindi lang po ang tayo ang nagsisik, but God is also seeking for us, and He wants to save each and every one of us na mga lost. Diba? Uh, we are all lost, but the Lord has found us, and and He has saved us. So, it will not come if we will not come to the Lord. Ang salvation po ng Panginoon nandyan. But if you will not receive that, nothing will happen. Ang blessing po ng Panginoon nandyan. But if we will not live rightly before God, nothing will happen. Ang pagtulong po sa atin ng Panginoon laging nandyan. But if our heart is not right, nothing will happen. So we have to live rightly before God. We are to seek Him every day para mas makilala pa po natin yung Panginoon. We are to have faith in Him para mas mapatibay pa po yung relasyon natin sa Kanya at mas maging strong po tayo as we live and as we endure all the persecutions that we experience and we will experience in life. And we are to surrender our whole life to the Lord and allow Him to move into our lives at hindi na po natin sa sarilinin yung buhay natin kasi sometimes Sometimes we keep on controlling our own selves that we forget that the Lord is there to hold it for us and to control everything going on around us. That doesn't mean that we don't have to do what we want. But 
God, leaving it all to God, allow us to um, allow us to let our actions be in line with the with with His will. So yun po yung importante sa buhay natin. God is so much blessed. God is so much um, honored, glorified as we live right. Kapag namumuhay po tayo ng tama. Kapag sinisik po natin siya palagi. So, that's the message of the Lord for each and every one of us. I hope that we learn to seek God every day. This devotion, this morning devotion, this is a good platform na ginagamit din po ng Panginoon para matulungan tayo na masik pa siya, makilala pa siya. Sino ba to si Lord? Sino pa ba si Lord? You know, the Lord will reveal so many things about Himself every single day. Hindi pa po natin siya kilala kahit nabasa na natin yung buong Bible. Meron at meron pa tayong malalaman sa Panginoon sa ating buhay as we desire to seek Him. And yun po, wag po tayo titigil dun. Patuloy lang tayo sa ating pagsunod sa Panginoon. There will be times na tayo po ay magkakamali, we will fail, but let's not dwell on that. Wag po tayo magstay doon. Wag po tayo magpaalipin sa kasalanan o magpaalipin sa takot o sa kilos ng kaaway. But rather, we take authority, we take hold of the power of God, and we resist temptations, we resist the lies of the enemies. Mahirap po yun, pero kakayanin natin sa tulong ng Panginoon and sa sa pagtutulungan po natin as we have this kind of fellowship, as we have this kind of devotion every day. So, maraming maraming salamat po. We will close this with a prayer. And if you have any additional points po sa ating pinag-usapan, pwede niyo pong i-comment or pwede niyo pong um, i-PM sa ating page para pwede pa po natin mas mapag-usapan sa mga susunod ng devotions natin. And, um, ayun po, maraya pa po tayong pag-uusapan sa ating daily devotions. And I am so excited sa mga mensahe pa ng Panginoon sa ating lahat. So, let us all close in prayer. Father God, once again, thank you so much for this opportunity, for this blessing that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for your word to remind us to seek you, for your word to remind us, O Lord, to not give up, to not look at our past, to not um, depend, Lord, sa kung ano mong sinasabi ng iba, but rather, you, will, you are continuously reminding us na sa inyo lamang makinig at magtiwala. Maraming salamat, Lord, for this opportunity and blessings. Be with us always. Bless us the whole day. In everything we do, Lord, I pray that you remind us that we do this, Lord God, not for our own selves, but to give you glory, honor, and praises. So thank you, Father, Lord God. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for once again. And see you po sa ating susunod na morning devotion. God bless po.